This is the fluid sampling kit. General operating instructions are provided inside the kit. The hose and the grounding wire to the remote sampling assembly are found inside the lid. Let's take a look inside the kit. Each component is labeled with a letter corresponding to the component parts list on the operating instructions. Component A is the quick release valve and plug. Component B is the sampler assembly, which comes with its own cap. Component C is the remote sampling cap, which connects to the hose in the lid shown earlier. Component D is the metal syringe and valve. Component E is the stainless steel forceps. Component F is the adjustable wrench. Component G is the Teflon thread sealant. Component H is the field monitors. These are two-piece 37mm 0.8 micrometer MCE monitors with a red plug on the outlet and a blue plug on the inlet. There are 12 monitors provided in each kit. Replacements may be ordered in packs of 50. Empty monitoring cassettes can be purchased separately with a variety of alternative millipore filter membrane materials and the AP30 support pad. Now, let's take a look at the two-piece monitor in detail. The monitor holds a 37mm 0.8 micrometer MCE membrane filter with an AP30 support pad underneath. This thick filter pad provides support for up to 100 PSI maximum pressure. 0.8 micrometer monitors are also available in matched weight versions with yellow plugs instead of blue plugs. Matched weight monitors contain two filters matched in weight to within 0.1 micrograms, eliminating test filter pre-weighting and gravimetric analysis. The two filters are placed on top of the support pad inside the monitoring cassettes. The sample is collected on the top membrane filter and the bottom membrane filter is used as the tear weight in gravimetric analysis. The quick release valve and plug is the sampling port and should be installed where you regularly wish to sample. This valve will not allow liquid to flow until it is engaged with the sampler assembly during sampling. To eliminate dust contamination, keep the valve plug in place when the valve is not in use. Attach the quick release valve into your system using an adjustable wrench if needed. Inlet pressure should not exceed 100 PSI. To install the monitor, first unscrew the sampler cover from the sampler assembly. Then remove the protective plugs from the monitor. First the red plug from the bottom, and then the blue or yellow plug from the top. Save the plugs for reuse. Insert the monitor into the sampler cover spoke side down and the filter facing up. Assemble the sampler by screwing the sampler base tightly into the sampler cover. Connect the bypass hose from the three-way inlet valve into either hole on the side of the sampler base. Screw the fitting on the hose with the grounding wire into the remote sampling cap. Attach the remote sampling cap and hose into the base of the sampler. Next, force the white nylon plug into the open hole on the side of the sampler base. Alternatively, an appropriate polyethylene sampling bottle may be screwed into the sampler base. An additional grounding wire is included in the kit if needed. Be sure to ground your setup to ensure your safety. This is the other end of the hose, which should be placed into a collection container. With the three-way valve in the off position, remove the protective caps from the sampling port and the sampler. To connect the sampler to the sampling port, insert the sampler nipple firmly into the quick-release valve by retracting the valve collar, and then release the collar when the nipple is sealed. Once the sampler is connected to the sampling port, turn the three-way valve from the off position to the flush position to flush the inlet hose. Allow a sufficient quantity of fluid to flow through the bypass tubing to flush contaminants. To take the sample, hold the sample upright and turn the three-way valve to the test position. Take an appropriate sample for analysis as described in your method. When the sample is completed, turn the three-way valve to the off position before turning off the system pump. Remove the sampler nipple from quick release valve and replace the protective cap on the sampler. Similarly, replace the protective cap on the sampling port. Remove the bypass hose from the hole and unscrew the sampler base from the sampler cover. Remove the monitor from the sampler. To dry the monitor, place the monitor onto the side port of the syringe with the spoke side down. Hold the monitor upright and pump it dry of all fluid. Hold each suction stroke for 5 seconds. Remove the monitor from the syringe and replace the protective plugs. 
The monitor is now ready for analysis. If the method requires colorimetric analysis, the Color Standards Book is available for purchase.